So uh, what is a product? We've got product and service classifications. There are some consumer products and industrial products. Consumer products, those that you and I will buy. For example, if you buy a shampoo, I use it for my own personal use, that would be a consumer product. An industrial product will be products that are used mainly for another, uh, for another process. So maybe if, uh, maybe if I am a hotel and I buy shampoo, the hotel will use the shampoo to repackage for the rooms. So that would not be a consumer product, rather they will buy it for an industrial use. So they will use it, they will repackage it, they will use it for their own industrial uh, purposes. Consumer products can be divided into four types. And industrial products can be mainly three types. Let's see those seven different types that are coming. We'll start with the consumer products. Uh, consumer products, they are products and services for personal consumption classified. We have convenience products, shopping uh, products, specialty products, and unsought products. A convenient product is a product that you buy from the nearest shop. Let's say if you go and you run by a newspaper uh, place, you take a newspaper and you run. It's a convenient, you just pick it. You know what uh, newspaper you want and you just want today's issue and you take it. If you buy a toothpaste, you just buy the toothpaste. You don't go and shop. You don't go like shopping products where you go to the first shop and you see, let's say furniture. You look at the furniture, you try, this is red, this is green, this is uh, uh, soft, this is... Uh, so shopping products, you go from one place, let's say clothes also, you go, you shop for clothes, you go, you shop for specialty products that products are very uh, specialized and you only, you're willing to take the extra mile. Let's say, for example, there is a good dentist at the end of the street, you're willing to go to the end of the street and buy from that or use that dentist. Unsought products, these products are not very clear in terms of how they are or why people buy them. Uh, unsought products is a product that if you want to sell an unsought product, it's a product that people don't normally need to buy. So you need to explain to people why you need it. An example is an insurance. Um, who would like, how many people have a life insurance policy? Okay. Now those people, if you go and you ask them, how did you actually buy it? Did you go shop for it? Uh, then maybe they will tell you, oh, maybe it was sold to our company and I bought it through my company. They may tell you it was sold to my uncle and I bought it through my uncle. They may say someone came, called me, and they insisted that I buy it, and they scared me that if I die, my kids will be lost, and I decided to buy it. So it required a lot of selling. So those are the consumer products. Uh, convenience products, we said consumer products and services that the cu customer usually buys frequently, immediately, with a minimum comparison and buying efforts. Newspapers, candy, and fast food. Shopping products, these are consumer products and services that the consumer or the customer compares carefully on suitability, is this suitable, uh, quality, price, and style. We said furniture, you check this furniture place, another furniture. When you buy a car, you don't just buy a car. You see this one, you check that one, you try that one. You know, you talk to your friends, you bring your wife, you call your kids, you... Uh, appliances, uh, the same thing. Specialty products, consumer products and services with unique characteristics or, f or brand identification. Uh, for which a significant group of buyers is willing to make a special purchase effort, such as medical services, designer clothes, or high-end electronics. Sometimes you want to buy an Apple laptop. Then you will go to Apple laptop. It's a special brand, and you will only buy from that specific brand. So become a specialty product. And then the unsought products are consumer products that the consumer does not know about or know about but does not uh, normally think of buying. We said life insurance, funeral services, blood donations. So these are some examples uh, about unsought products. On the other hand, the industrial products, we've got uh, products purchased for further processing. So uh, maybe further processing would be the key here. Uh, further processing uh, and for use in conducting bus a business. So classified into material parts, capital, uh, raw materials. You guys know what's the material and parts like spare parts uh, or material. Let's say you buy iron, you buy cement. Uh, capital, you can say, let's say, capital equipment, a contractor, uh, a big uh, pickup truck, or uh, maybe you buy a capital, let's say, assets, financial uh, capital. Uh, raw materials, uh, raw materials will be, uh, you know, the raw material that's used in production.
Any questions on this? 